This video provides a brief introduction to the Port Deposit Flood Advisory application. Upon launching the application, the user is presented with a splash screen which describes the project as well as provides links to the Army Corps of Engineers and Gannett Fleming, both of whom developed this project. Upon clearing the splash screen, the user is presented with a mapping environment in and around the area of Port Deposit, Maryland. The application is intended to present various flood depth scenarios to the user based upon the parameters that they select within the flood advisory tool. The flood advisory tool can be found in the docked bar at the bottom of the page with the little icon that looks like a house as well as some water at the base of it. By enabling the flood advisory tool, a number of parameters are presented to the user. By default, the title level is set to a value based upon the depth at the Chesapeake Bay and Harvard of Grace, based upon the USGS title gauge. However, the user can also toggle these values from negative 1.12 up to a value of 5. In addition to the title level, the number of gates can also be toggled up to 50 gates, as well as additional regulating gates and a headwater elevation. Whenever a value of 16 to 19 gates is presented to the user, hydropower generation is also available. In addition to toggling the values seen in the tool, a dam notification level is also presented to the user. In addition to the variables to be set on this screen, there's a second option to toggle between historic storms. In this case, Hurricane Agnes as well as Tropical Storm Lee are the two options available. With the depth grid of interest defined, the user can use the scroll wheel as well as the plus and minus tools found in the top left corner of the window to zoom in and out of the map. Upon zooming into an area of interest, the user can again use the mouse to click one time and see a predicted flood depth. When zoomed in, it's easier to identify the difference in storms. For instance, we can toggle the depth of the tide and we get very different values presented in the depth grid on the right hand side. In addition to the flood advisory settings tool, we also have a legend. We have bookmarks which will allow the user to zoom to specific areas of interest. You can measure. You can also change the base map. Lastly, an about tool was developed to provide a bit more detail about the project. You can see that the title levels toggle from negative 1.12 to 5 feet. The number of gates consists of gates from 16 to 50 plus the number of regulating gates and headwater. Hydropower generation can be available. Historic storms can be enabled as well as some other descriptions of functionality of the application. For additional information with this tool, please contact Craig Thomas at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers.